today we're gonna be watching Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Now, I just wanna make this very clear. This is a rewatch. We are doing a Star Wars marathon rewatch on this channel. This is not a first time reaction. It is a rewatch. I just wanna make that very clear right away so there's no confusion whatsoever. Basically, we're just gonna be rewatching the Star Wars movies and we're just gonna be talking about it and having a good time. So if you're down for that, stick around. If not, I, I get it. But anyways, you might have noticed that we have skipped a movie in the order right now in real time on my channel return of the jedi is not on here and we are doing the phantom menace now that is not an accident okay this is a very unique order i a lot of people say that you got to do the original release order or you got to do chronological i think as a rewatch rewatch purposes i think that four five one two three six is a very very fun rewatch mainly because i i don't want to end it on revenge of the sith you know like the revenge of the sith is a fantastic movie but it's so emotionally draining it's like i don't want to end it on that i want to do one two three now and then get the six and then we can see the story come full circle at the end and end it with a happy ending but now we are going back to the phantom menace first movie in the chronological order this movie has very mixed opinions it a lot of people love it and a lot of people don't really love it and here's my opinion on the prequels in a nutshell they're very fundamentally solid but they do have flaws but that's okay it doesn't matter because what matters the most is that the story is there prequels have a very very solid story now sometimes the execution may not be the best but we get what they're trying to do even though some things may not be perfect i can easily overlook all of those things and appreciate the story that's being told it's been a really long time since i've seen it from beginning to end so i can imagine there's a lot of things i don't remember from it tiny details that go overlooked like i know all the big plot points in the movie but other things like little tiny details i've probably forgotten a lot so i'm super excited to watch this movie so origin story of anakin skywalker i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop into this movie if you'd like to watch the full through action that will be available on patreon but anyways let's get started oh, never gets old the phantom menace when i was watching these movies as a kid i had no idea what the phantom menace meant but obviously it's palpatine he's the phantom menace with all due respect the ambassadors for the supreme chancellor wish to board immediately yes of course this fucking guy, dude. Viceroy, dude. Viceroy stressed me the hell out as a kid. I don't know why, but for this opening scene stressed me out as a kid. I have a oh. bad feeling about this. Concentration here and now where it belongs. But Master Yoda said I should be mindful of the future. But not at the expense of the moment. Very wise. Liam Neeson is perfect to play a Jedi, dude. Negotiations will be short. Negotiations will be short. Begin landing your troops. My lord. Is that legal? <laughs> I will, I will make, make it. <laughs> the Jedi? The Chancellor should never have brought them into this. Kill them immediately. Blast them. <laughs> Too nice. Still coming through. Mm -hmm. This is impossible. Patience. Look how poised he is. Ah, those droid the cars. Master, destroy us. These are such a bitch to kill in uh, the Lego Star Wars game. You were right about one thing, Master. <laughs> The negotiations, the negotiations were, were short. short. Such a classic. The ambassadors aren't there. How could that be true? I have assurances from the Chancellor. His ambassadors did it right. Look at this dickhead right here. Padme's double right there. Dude, for the longest time, I thought that just was Natalie Portman. Like, I never... <laughs> like, like, when they were standing next to each other in the same scene, I was so confused. Oh, there he is. There's the greatest... <laughs> The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. Me. You guys in the comments. He's a god Jaja and Binks. Missing your humble servant. Honestly, my very first impression of Jar Jar, I 
hated him. Even when I was like five, thought he was the most annoying character ever. The bosses would do terrible things to me. Mm. Terrible things to me <laughs> if me going back there. But now he's but now he's just funny to me. Like I I like him a lot more now. But honestly, he kinda he only grew on me really because you guys know the theory, right? You guys ever hear the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise? And how that's actually Jar Jar. <laughs> Jar Jar is the Dark Lord of the Sith or whatever. He's Palpatine's master like that. Like when I first heard that theory, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, and then like you just dive deeper and deeper into it. And then you're like, wait, you're like, hold on, wait, time out, time out. Like, obviously it's not true, but it's it's a really fun theory. And so that, that really made him grow in me, to be honest. <laughs> and then I remember when Hishi, how it should have ended, made Revenge of the Sith. How it should have ended when dude Jar Jar pulled up as the Dark Lord of the Sith. Dude, I lost it when Jar Jar pulled up. I was like, no fucking way he did it. And speed is on our way. We are gonna speed you away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that line at all. It's through the planet's core. This Gungan may be of help. Yeah, if he has to come with us. What is to become of Jar Jar Binks here? <laughs> he owes me what you call a life debt. Yeah, see Qui Gon looking out for Jar Jar too. <sighs> what a guy. Count me out of this one. Better... <laughs> Why were you banished, Jar Jar? A small part of it would be Miss uh, uh, Clumsy. Yeah, yes. Banished because you are clumsy. But that's how he fools you. <laughs> it's all intentional. There's always a bigger fish. Not just in the sea, but in life. It will be ratified by the Senate. I will not cooperate. By the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Obi-Wan's so clean, and he hasn't even hit his prime yet. Just wait till we get mullet, Obi-Wan. Chancellor, I'm taking these people to Coruscant. Where are you taking them? To, to Coruscant. Coruscant, uh, that doesn't compute. Waste of my time. <laughs> so nice, for what? Now stay here, and keep out of trouble. Impossible for him. It's too goofy. Oh, there's R2, but there's, oh, then there's two copies of them. It's R3. <laughs> okay, well, what I love about the prequels, too, is this is where R2 really shines. This is where he really comes through. So many moments where he's just clutch. Power's back! That little droid did it! It's a great, great introduction to R2, too. Obviously, like, Sell the OGs, you know who he is. Great way to bring him back, you know. Reintroduce him. They're the huts of gangsters. If they discovered her, it would be no different than if we landed on a system controlled by the Federation. Except that the huts aren't looking for her, which gives us the advantage. Exactly. It's impossible to locate the ship. Not full of Sith. Hey. This is my apprentice, Darth Maul. Dude, Maul went from just a pretty sick character from this movie to one of the best Star Wars characters through the Clone Wars. Like, I love what they did with him in the Clone Wars. They have no idea what coming here is gonna do. <laughs> Changes the fate of the entire galaxy. Be wary. I sense a disturbance in the Force. I feel it also, Master. Damn, that's a long-ass fucking walk. <laughs> Oh my god, this fucking guy. Watto's ho ass. <gasps> there he is. There's Darth Vader. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Why is he walking like that? <laughs> Why is he walking? <laughs> it's just Jar Jar, dude. It's, it's Jar Jar. You're a slave? I'm a person. My, my name, name is, is Anakin. Dude, just drop this name like a nuke. <laughs> Credits will do, will fine. do fine. No, they Psych. won't. Credits will do fine. No, they won't. What, you think you're some kind of Jedi waving your hand around like that? <laughs> no, the fuck? Wouldn't have lasted long anyways if I wasn't so good at building things. Damn, he's always been cocky. Judge <laughs> 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 Jar. Yippee! Yippee! Oh, this fucking guy. What's his What's his name again? Um. Go 
Go save his ass, bro. Chesco Sebulba. Sebulba, that's his name. Dude, not gonna lie. Sebulba intimidated me as a kid. But me said doing nothing. Nothing but being a fuck ass. <laughs> like, it's okay. That's why we love you, Jar Jar. Damn, the reflection on that ship is crazy. Not finished yet. I am C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations. How might I serve you? Dude, it's insane how Anakin built the C-3PO. They're trying to show how smart Anakin is, even as a young kid. And it works, but it's just like, what? Oh, they're meeting for the first time. At last, we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last, we will have revenge. Dude, it's insane how how close Sam Witwer can imitate Ray Parker here and the voice of Maul. Oh, just Ray Park. I thought it was the same actor voicing him for the longest time, too. And then when I realized who it was Sam Witwer, I was even more mind blown because I was like, I've already played the Force Unleashed one and two in the DLC like a bunch of times, multiple times. So I'm like, wait, it's this guy? Perhaps I killed a Jedi and took it from him. No one can kill a Jedi. <laughs> Don't worry, Andy. You'll get your opportunity soon. I had a dream I was a Jedi. I came back here and freed all the slaves. I can help. I can fix anything. Aw, look at mom. Shmi. It's awful. I die every time water makes you do it. Your mother's right. Is there anyone friendly to the Republic who can help us? No. Fuck it, he's racing. <laughs> mom, you say the biggest problem in this universe is nobody helps each other. I may not like it, but he was meant to help you. Look at that, look at that look on Qui-Gon's face. He's like, there's something about this boy, but he's also really nervous. It wasn't my fault, really. Sebulba flashed me with his vids. I actually saved the pop. Yeah, Sebulba's a dirty ass cheater. Sebulba's a hoe. Deal. There's something about this boy. He gives without any thought of reward. Well, he knows nothing of greed. This is when he's the most honest and pure and adorable. He deserves better than a slave's life. The force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. Ah, the music. Who was his father? There was no father. There was no father. I carried him. I gave birth. I raised him. I can't explain what happened. Bro, I can. He's fucking Jesus. <laughs> like, there literally is no father. She was just... She just was pregnant one day with Anakin. It's like he was created by the Force, and that's why he's the chosen one. <laughs> this is why Jar Jar stresses me out. Well, this is why he did stress me out when I was when I was a kid. It's working! Oh, look at her. She looks so proud. Mm. Oh, she's like, yeah, it is working. Shit. She's just, she's nervous, you know. I need a midichlorian count. <laughs> Over 20,000. Mm -hmm. Even Master Yoda doesn't have a midichlorian count that high. No Jedi has. Do I? Why do you think that? He's just getting oiled up. Who is wins? Yeah, because he cheats. He's a cheating ho. -ho. I'll take that bet. The boy and his mother. No pod is worth two slaves. The boy then. Damn. Not the mom. You won this small toss outlander, but you won't win the race. So it makes a little difference. Hmm. This is so wizard, Andy. I'm sure. This is so wizard. Oh my god. It's a Star Wars robot chicken reference too. I mean, it's from here first, so it's Star Wars reference. But there's like a robot chicken skit where Darth Vader's like, he's like, that is so wizard. And he's like, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> ah, father. That was pretty wizard. Wasn't it, son? What? I'm bringing it back. And then, no, in the episode of The Mandalorian, they said it too. Actually, I wonder how many times they use the term wizard in the movies. Besides just now, I can't, I can't, I literally can't think of another time. Ah, oh, that the alcohol, Maury. <laughs> Skywalker, a local boy. The underdog of the century. Aw, <laughs> oh, three feet is holding the flag. Be safe. I will not. I promise. Yeah, what the fuck are you about to do here, buddy? <coughs> yeah, I don't even know what that just did, but it did something. <laughs> Concentrate on the moment. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. Mm -hmm. You have a natural ability. Let it take over. Far too reckless. The queen is the not- The queen trusts my judgment, young handmaiden. <laughs> you should too. Oh no! Oh no, he's 
installed. Cause it's a vulva. <laughs> oh wait, that guy's saying thanks to Wado? That guy isn't that guy's in Harry Potter. He's in a lot of stuff actually. I actually didn't know he was in this. <laughs> there we go. Dude, as soon as they all take off, is it's like the Triwizard Tournament in Harry Potter. It's like, and then as soon as it starts, you're just like, okay, sick. And they back yet? <laughs> you know? Nah, but okay. But in this, I saw that someone they had a tablet. Oh, that girl. Yeah, I remember her. It did show someone with like a tablet watching, so you could like watch them on the camera. But like in Harry Potter, it's just as soon as they went into the maze, it's like, oh shit. Now, now what do we do? <laughs> Waxed. Looks like a few. Yeah, she's watching on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was about to say, doesn't this guy get fucked up? <laughs> See, Sebulba only mess with Anakin's alone. He only sees Anakin as the real threat. So, low key, he respects Anakin. If he thought Anakin didn't have a chance, he wouldn't have done it. <laughs> oh my god, wait, dude. This part, I remember the Lego version of this. Oh. This level on the LEGO Star Wars game pissed me off, off so bad. It took me forever to get past it the first time. <laughs> yeah, let me fix this shit mid-race. Followed closely by Skywalker! <laughs> Bro, imagine the butterflies in your stomach coming down from that high. Oh shit, he's in first. It's Skywalker! Quick control thrust, and he's back on course! Did he crash it? No, don't jinx it. <laughs> Wait, does he die? Yeah, he doesn't die. He's <laughs> waxed. Little ho. The crowds are going nuts. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I thought he had a full on like beard for a second. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just dirt. Yeah! Good job, Annie. Proud of you, Annie. Really showed how good of a pilot he really is and just how natural it is to him. It really adds weight to Obi-Wan's. He was the best star pilot in the galaxy. And you're just seeing the beginning of it. You gamble, my friend, eventually you lose. You can't have him. It wasn't a fair bet. It was fair and square. Would you like to discuss it with the hut? Mm. I'm sure they can settle this. Take him. Sore ass loser. I won't finish business. It won't be long. Why do I sense we've picked up another pathetic life form? Whoa, 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 whoa! Obi Wan, what the fuck was that? Where'd that come from? You have no idea who you're talking about right there. And he has been freed. What? You're no longer a slave. Yeah, but like, uh, but like, he, he can't bring his mom with him. Make your dreams come true, Annie. See to become a Jedi? Yes. Our meeting was not a coincidence. Nothing happens by accident. You mean I get to come with you and your starship? Anakin. Training to be a Jedi is not an easy task. Training to become a Jedi is not an easy challenge. challenge. And even if you succeed, it's, it's a hard, hard life. life. It's what I've always dreamed of doing. This path has been placed before you. So you could have a better life. Choice is yours alone. Mm -hmm. Of course she wants him to go. He's gonna have a, he's gonna have a better life there than here you know but it's just so tragic how she can't come with us what about mom mm -hmm. is she free too no you're coming with us aren't you mom no hurry damn <sighs> the trauma has begun i would prefer it if i were a little more completed i'm sorry i don't got time for that I'm sure mom doesn't sell you or anything Sell me. Pretty lucky she never does. Or Watto doesn't, you know? Like, I would I would for sure think Watto would sell him the moment Anakin leaves. 
I have one more goodbye. Damn. Will I ever see you again? Mm. Yeah. What does it hurt to tell you? I hope so. Mm -hmm. Then we will see each other again. I will come back and free you, Mom. I mean, he does come back, but... Don't look back. Don't look back. Yeah, don't even look at me, because if you look, you won't even, you won't want to leave. But like, obviously, she wants him to go, because he's gonna have a better life there than here. It's a tough decision, but in this moment, it's what she would rather have for him. So. Oh my God, sir! Wait! I'm oh shit! He's behind you. No! Oh! Damn! It's on sight. Dude, there's like a deleted scene. Where when Qui Gon jumps on there, so does Maul, and then Qui Gon like kicks him off. It was like deleted choreography or whatever. Obi Wan Kenobi. Hi. You're a Jedi too. Pleased to meet you. <sighs> the meeting of a lifetime, right there. Qui Gon just ran a quick fade with the first Sith in over a thousand years at this at this point in time. That's insane. <laughs> and then Anakin just met Obi Wan right there, like dog. You all right? No. Cold. Yeah, he misses his mom already. You come from a warm planet, Annie. A little mm -hmm. too warm for my taste. That too. Just not used to it. Many things will change when you reach the capital, Annie. But my caring for you will remain. I care for you too. Only I miss your mother. He misses his mom and then that attachment he has for his mom just latches on the Padme. Eventually. The entire planet is one big city. Jesus. That sounds like a nightmare. I must relate to you how distressed everyone is over the current situation. Jar Jar, what the fuck are you doing? Don't touch him. Speak with the Jedi Council immediately. The situation has become much more complicated. Mm-hmm. Come on. So are you coming or what? No, oh, okay. Just say the Chancellor has little real power. He is mired by baseless accusations of corruption, the bureaucracy. <laughs> Our best choice would be to push for the election of a stronger Supreme Chancellor, one me, <laughs> and give us justice. You could call for a vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum. Ballistic, Your Majesty. I think we're going to have to accept Federation control for the time being. Wow. Not surprised. Something I cannot do. Mm -hmm. My only conclusion can be that it was a Sith Lord. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. I do not believe the Sith could have returned without us knowing. Ah, hard to see the dark side is. And see, that's where you guys kind of fucked up because you're so convinced you would know about it. And that's your own arrogance. A boy. His cells have the highest concentration of midichlorians I have seen in a life form. Possible he was conceived by the midichlorians. Mm-hmm. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. You believe it's this boy? See the look on Miss Windu's face right there? Finding him was the will of the Force. <sighs> bring him before us then. Damn. Watching like lore videos and stuff, it's like Mace Windu jealous of Anakin. He doesn't like the fact that this boy comes in here and is just like, oh, he's he's the chosen one from this prophecy, you know? It's like it's like Mace Windu wanted to prove that it could have been him, you know? That's why he always sneaked this as Anakin. Honorable representatives of the Republic. That fit goes crazy. <laughs> Circumstances. Naboo's system has been invaded by the droid armies of the tree. I object! There is no proof! Bro, let her finish. <laughs> this is where Chancellor Valorum's strength will disappear. Mm. I was not elected to watch my people suffer and die while you discuss this invasion in a committee. If this body is not capable of action, I suggest new leadership is needed. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> For a vote of no confidence. The chance of Valorum's leadership. Oh, the Wookiees. Dude, Palpatine is just... Master manipulator, dude. Now they will elect a new chancellor. Mm -hmm. A strong chancellor. Yeah. One who will not let our tragedy continue. Yeah, looking at him right now. Anakin will become a Jedi. I promise you. 
Mm -hmm. Do not defy the council master, not again. Nah, he'll do it again. If you would just follow the code, you would be on the council. Qui-Gon doesn't need the council. The council needs him. A car. A ship. Mm. <laughs> a speeder. Miss Windu is like, fuck. Afraid, are you? Your thoughts dwell on your mother. Mm. Afraid to lose her, I think. Mm? What does that got to do with anything? Everything. Thing. Yeah. Fear is the path to the dark side. side. Fear leads to anger. Anger, anger, leads, anger to leads to hate. Mm. Leads to suffering. I sense much fear in you. Red flag number one. But they're like, nah. <laughs> Gungan's not dying without a fight. We saw warriors. Hell yeah. Senator Palpatine has been nominated to succeed Valorum as mm. Supreme Chancellor. A surprise, to be sure. But <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Seems like such a happy moment, but nah. Antilles of Alderaan and only team of Malastare. Of Alderaan, wow. I will be Chancellor. I feel Fortunately. This is your arena. I feel I must return to mine. But your majesty, be it realistic that they'll force you to sign the treaty. I will sign no treaty, Senator. My mm -hmm. fate will be no different than that of our people. Yeah, you see like that half-assed attempt to get her to stay? Like, he wants her to go back. But if she's willing to die, then sign the treaty, so it doesn't really matter. He will not be trained. No. He is too old. He is the chosen one. You must see it. They see it, but... How did this boy's future is? I will train him then. Obi Wan's like what? Impossible to take out a second. The code forbids it. Obi Wan is ready. I am ready to face the trials. There is little more he can learn from me. Okay, look. Okay, here's how they should have approached this. Probably, if Qui Gon's gonna be the one to train Anakin, great, we're all for that. But unfortunately, Qui Gon died. Obviously, so. Like, Qui-Gon's the only one who can train Anakin. If it's not him, no one trains him. Otherwise, it's inevitable what happens. Qui-Gon dying changed everything. His fate's uncertain and dangerous, but Qui-Gon knows. As long as he's trained right, if he could tap his potential, it's limitless. And as long as Qui-Gon's the one doing it, then it, it, he can get there. But unfortunately, you know, I'm sure he's well aware of how dangerous this could be. But under his supervision, he's confident he can train him right. And like I said, only Qui-Gon could have got him there. Probably could have got him there because he could have been that father figure that Anakin desperately needed. And Qui-Gon's not a traditional Jedi. You know, he's, he's a he's a bit of a looser Jedi. So that's why I fuck with him. Won't be any. I'm not allowed to train you. Uh -huh. So I want you to watch me and be mindful. Going home! <laughs> Come on, I can only protect you. I can't fight a war for you. Jar Jar Binks. Hey, he has an army. Yes. I need your help. Mm hmm We're gonna go get the Gungans. I'm sorry for my behavior, Master. It's not my place to disagree with you about the boy. And I am grateful you think I'm ready to take the trials. You've been a good apprentice, Obi-Wan. And you're a much wiser man than I am. I foresee he will become a great Jedi Knight. Oh, he will. I love the way they portray Obi-Wan in this. Perfect example of a Jedi. I come before you in peace. You, sir, all bombard. We have searched you out because we wish to form an alliance. Your honor. Who, sir, do you? The real queen. I am Queen Amidala. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is mm. my decoy. My loyal bodyguard. I'm sorry mm -hmm. for my deception. He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, damn, he's impressed. I ask you to help us. No, I beg you to help us. Being friends. and the Naboo together. Nah, it's nothing. Your Highness, this is a battle I do not think that we can win. Not with that attitude. There is a possibility with this diversion, many Gungans will be killed. We are ready to do us and fight. <laughs> They're down for the cause. If the Viceroy escapes, Your Highness, he will return with another droid army. Well, that is why we must not fail to get the Viceroy. Everything depends on it. <laughs> That's ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this army. 
Dude, it's like Infinity War. <laughs> It's the Wakanda barrier. Dude, this map this map in battle and that in the original battlefront is so fun. Damn, bro, he got shot down immediately. God damn, what an army. Dude, honestly, the battle droids, they're so, they're kinda weak to be honest. They're pretty weak to be honest. The quantity of them, it's not really quality. There's just a lot of them. You know what actually is a goddamn problem? Commando droids. <laughs> Those are a fucking problem. You had an army of commando droids? Oh, fuck. You're so fucked. <laughs> Those could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the fucking- with the clone troopers. Mm, here we go. Here we go. No, wait, wait, wait. I gotta do something. We'll handle this. Hell yeah. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, the music, the music, the duel, the fates. Oh, let's go. Um, um, I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Oh, there we go. There we go. Red. There we go. <laughs> we got red and blue, so. <laughs> Obi-Wan initiated the attack on Maul first. A little cocky, but it was calculated. The difference between him and Anakin is Anakin would have just pressed him without being calculated, you know, like he did against Dooku. <laughs> N next movie. Qui-Gon went with him too, you know? It wasn't one at a time. They were in sync together. Mm, look how poised he is. Dude, you see that? You see You see what he just did right there? Dude, he literally just took this shit and just... Mmm, that's a Sith Lord right there. Oh. Yeah. You see how he's taking out all these droids right here? He just took out a fucking uh, destroyer. I mean, he didn't have a shield up, but like. Yo, get us off this autopilot. It's gonna get us both killed. Mm hmm. Let me fly. Anakin and R2's first space battle. Ah! And it's what he does in Revenge of the Sith, too. And he has those missiles on him. That was a callback to this. Dude, he's putting it to work. I'm so pissed he fucking dies. Cause Liam Neeson is so perfect. Mm -hmm. He's gonna meditate while he waits. Recharge, you know, stay patient. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Hey, this was a good idea though. This works out. It was an accident. <laughs> mm, yep, yep. Kaja! Here, take him this one! Mm, seeing the Gogans fight is actually pretty sick. Like, they're, them armored up is pretty lit. Like, they look so sick armored up. Mm. He was right. Oh. I've seen the thing where it's like, they were using four speed earlier in the movie. But since Obi-Wan didn't meditate, he couldn't use it right there. He wasn't charged, so he got trapped. Dude. That changed everything. Damn. Hands up. My give up. My give up. Oh my god, that was, in, that was insane right there, all in one shot. Choreography goes hard. Oh! Hey, but this is Obi-Wan's signature move right here. What's that? It's blowing up from the inside. Now this is pot, pot racing. <laughs> Waxed. Hmm, this feels awfully familiar. <laughs> Waxed. Waxed. God damn! Wait, what? <laughs> Look at his face. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Never noticed that before. Darth Maul's face as he's falling. Promise. Promise. Promise me you will train, train the boy. boy. Yes, master. He is the chosen one. He will bring balance. Not, not as planned, but like, eventually. <laughs> Damn. R.I.P. Qui Gon. <sighs> and you, young Skywalker. We will watch your career with great interest. Hmm. Unfortunately. Together, we shall bring peace and prosperity to the Republic. From a certain point of view. But agree with your taking this boy as your Padawan learner. I do not. The chosen one, the boy, the boy may, may be. be. Grave danger, I fear, in his training. I gave Qui Gon my word. <sighs> I will train Anakin. Qui Gon's defiance, I sense in you. Need that you do not. <laughs> Agree with you, the council does. Your apprentice, Skywalker, will be. Okay, look. I think Obi Wan's a phenomenal teacher. Don't get me wrong. It's phenomenal. I feel like the only person who could have trained Anakin successfully was Qui Gon, because he understood. You know, it's nothing against anyone else. It's just they don't see it like he did, and so. No matter who else trained him, it was an the failure was inevitable. Council have granted me permission to train you. You will be a Jedi. I promise. Maybe not like anyone, but like very few people could have trained Anakin successfully. Always do there are. Mm -hmm. No more. No less. no less. But which was destroyed? The master or the apprentice? Yeah, that's the shitty thing, they have no idea. But the master's right there. <laughs> God damn. Okay, be honest. When you guys first saw this for the first time, did you realize that was the Emperor? That Palpatine was him? Or were you like, why the fuck do they keep showing all these ominous shots of him, you know? Like, let me know when you guys realized. Oh, so wholesome. Oh my God, that guy on Yoda's right behind him. Dude, I remember an episode of him in Clone Wars. <laughs> he gets waxed. I think it's him. All right, well, that was The Phantom Menace. All right, I'm gonna be 100% honest. This movie was so much better than I ever remember it being. Holy shit. Like, I'm not kidding when I said it. it's been a while since I've watched this beginning to end, like, paying full attention to everything that's going on. Like, the last time I technically watched it was, like, two years ago, but I was kind of, like, distracted at the same time, not really watching it, watching it, not really. So that, that doesn't really count. The last time I watched this from beginning to end, I must have been, like... 13 or 12 or something like i said in a new hope as i got older i've appreciated the story so much more it i feel like why i might have thought this movie was boring before now was because like as a kid you don't really understand the politics the game that's really being played here so it could come off boring but now obviously i'm a lot older and the biggest thing that happened in this movie besides finding anakin obviously and qui-gon dying like besides all that was palpatine manipulating his way to becoming the chancellor okay was manipulating the decoy queen into giving a, no, a vote of no confidence on Chancellor of Valora of Palpatine just finessing his way, just rinsing everyone into becoming Chancellor. And that's why it's called The Phantom Menace is because Maul's not the menace, the true menace in the story, in this movie. It's Palpatine and he goes unseen basically. To me, that's super interesting now. And just, you can appreciate the game that's being played right here. Like, but as a kid and I guess like, first time watching this movie you're expecting something different probably why a lot of people didn't really like this movie but then it grew on them because they understand the game that's being played now it's like game of thrones when you see the game that's being played you that's when you get the most invested this captivated me the entire time no problem i but like i remember it being like kind of boring like now no my opinion is completely changed not at all this movie was fantastic like this kind of screws up my rankings a little bit because i already like i already kind of thought about my rankings but now i gotta rethink it all because this movie is not bad at all okay i'm gonna get to the rankings in a second i want to talk about qui-gon first of all liam neeson as a jedi amazing amazing i remember the first time first couple times i've watched this as a kid i really like liam neeson as a jedi I like him so much more now. I okay, I've already like known about him and stuff, and like I've I know a decent amount through the lore videos I've watched on him, but just the amount of belief he has in Anakin makes me so happy. And it's like I wish, I wish 
he could have trained him you know it sucks so much we only got one movie to show Liam Neeson Qui-Gon Jinn in, as like the actor is amazing and the character is so interesting too I wish we could have got to see way more of him it's just like the way it worked out you know he couldn't have been in Clone Wars obviously because it's obviously before Clone Wars this is the first movie <laughs> his first canon chronological movie so it's like he can't you can't really explore his character on screen anymore you can only really find out about him through lore videos unless they go further back which I don't think they plan on doing like they're not gonna go five years before phantom menace if they're gonna go back they're gonna go way back to the old republic so and it's like you do learn about qui-gon as a force ghost in the clone wars but like no nah, i want to know more about him when he was alive you know and like the lore videos are cool but it's not it's not really the same you know like but no i want to see it in action you know it's not the same it's not the same i do think qui-gon was the only person who could have trained anakin and trained him successfully because he understood how to be a father figure to him he cared enough to do it he was the only jedi that gave a fuck okay that's the only reason why it would have worked the other jedi just completely dismissed everything everything he was going through you know and but like qui-gon saw the potential oh actually the only other fucking person who saw the potential in him was palpatine and palpatine doesn't end up being you know father figure now now that qui-gon's gone which is the worst case scenario but it just shows you like the arrogance and the incompetence of the Jedi that they're not supposed to have, but it's like, think about it. They haven't had a conflict really in the last thousand years. So it's like, they're real, they're flying pretty high right now. Like they're flying pretty close to the sun and they do get burned because of it. So, okay, now let's talk about Obi-Wan, dude. Obi-Wan, please let me know what it was like seeing a young Obi-Wan. Like, I, okay, you know about him in A New Hope. You, okay, he's pretty sick. He's the man, you know, he trained Vader. But like, you go back and get to see him. Like this is before his prime too this is before clone wars like he's just now hitting his stride right there at the end of the movie he just entered his prime by defeating the first sith in a thousand years i wish they had more emphasis on that because you don't really realize it like kai mundi he said that like oh the sith haven't been around in a millennium but like that was such a that felt like such a throwaway line you know not not too much weight behind that i wish they really emphasized it more like letting you know like no this is a pretty big fucking deal right here okay like that was his trial basically you know like all right bro all right you're you're a jedi okay you're a jedi knight you're no longer a powder one you just defeated the first sith automatically on the council like come on no i don't think he gets put on the council after this immediately but actually i don't know I don't know. That'd be interesting to know, actually. And like, it's like he had a little bit of rage right there when he was fighting Maul. Like he just saw his master die, and then he was fighting a little bit of, with a little bit of anger. That's like the only time you ever see him like fighting with a little bit of rage. You know, shows you how powerful he could be. You know, he could channel it. He can control it. But ultimately you shouldn't use it so like i was saying earlier right before the movie ended like obi-wan's a phenomenal teacher you don't get me wrong i'm not discredited i'm not trying to discredit him at all it's just for anakin's specific case you know like he became more he was more of a brother to him which isn't what anakin really needs you know not like if he were to be trained by qui-gon and obi-wan or whatever like qui-gon Qui as his main master and then obi-wan just there like you know giving him you know bonus tips perfect perfect you have a father and brother figure you know there you go there's a what if episode for you right there what if qui-gon didn't die you know what would have fucking happened then hold on i saw this the other day this is literally what would have happened this is an alternate timeline i saw i'm gonna put this on the screen for you guys too but let me just read this eventually anakin is granted the rank of master after much deliberation by the Jedi Council. Anakin learns the truth of Palpatine and defeats him in a duel, fulfilling the prophecy. Look how hard that goes. No, this gets better. Yoda envisions the Jedi Order prospering under the leadership and guidance of the Chosen One and passes on his rank of Grand Master to Anakin. God, me fucked up right now, dude. There we go. Look at that. Look, Yoda's too tall in this AI built in this AI photo, but that still goes hard. Anakin raises his two children alongside his wife, Padme. Oh my god, that one hurts. No, no, okay, no. Here's the kicker though. Here's the worst one. Anakin reaches his full potential, becoming the greatest force user to live and the greatest that will ever live. Anakin passes peacefully and becomes one with the force. The rank of Grand Master is then passed on to Luke Skywalker, who leads the Jedi Order into a new era. Like, everything would have been so different. It makes me so mad. Like, that's a perfect what if episode for you right there. Give me like an hour long, hour and a half long what if episode on that. Oh my god. That would be top tier but there's so many more what ifs you could do like down the road throughout the next two movies it's just 
it's crazy. All right, I just took a shower and I got a lot more to say now, you know, the shower thoughts. So that's why there's no, no video to this. But that's what makes Anakin's story so tragic is because it's not just your typical, oh, the hero falls story, which is tragic in and of itself. But no, this is deeper than that. Like Anakin was supposed to become the greatest force user to ever live and that will ever live and i think that makes his story just that much more tragic it's because the promise and potential he had only if he had people in his life to help him and guide him like what he could have became was immeasurable just the wrong people in his life dude aka palpatine like honestly if palpatine just didn't exist he'd probably be fine <laughs> Because, you know, Palpatine's just planting these these seeds in his head all throughout the Clone Wars and then Revenge of the Sith and everything, so. But, okay, what I really liked about The Phantom Menace, and, like, I knew this before, but this really helped remind me after watching the first two movies of the original trilogy and now this one is how much of a different identity the prequels really have over the over the original trilogy it's like the phantom menace compared to a new hope is such a different movie it's insane okay i'll be honest like the end scene right there when i made that joke like oh that's oh that's familiar you know when they blew up the droid station you know it's it resembles blowing up the death star you know that's like the only thing the only similar thing though for the most part it has an entirely different identity you know well, I mean, yeah, it goes back in time. And, you know, you really get to see how much different things were before the Empire. That's what I think makes the prequel is so interesting because it's an entirely new galaxy to explore as soon as the empire takes over boom it's a complete 180 on how everything looks and feels and just how the entire galaxy is you know you get to see what obi-wan and a new hope was was talking about you get to see a lot more of it and i can't wait for those ones so watching this movie made me appreciate clone wars the show even more because just of all the jedi you see in the background like Plo Koon, for example, you know, like, I don't, I don't even think Plo Koon has one fucking line of dialogue in any of the movies, but he's so sick in the Clone Wars, Ugh, I love him so much, and then, dude, what really fucked me up was, I watched the Clone Wars growing up week to week as a kid, I could not wait till they got, till they released every single week on Cartoon Network, I would be right at the TV, right at 7.30 p.m., ready for the next episode, you know? And I loved Plo Koon so much. But then when I rewatched uh, Revenge of the Sith, and then I saw he fucking dies, like he's one of the Jedi, they should make an example of dying. I was so hurt. I actually felt so sad on the inside. First time watching Revenge of the Sith, like it was sad seeing all the Jedi dying, but there's no attachment to them. But after watching the Clone Wars, it hits so much harder, dude. Okay, now where would I rank this movie? So I, well, here's what I said I'm gonna do in the last two movies. I'm not gonna reveal the whole list right away. I'm only gonna rank them as we go. So here's basically the list so far. Number one is blank. Okay, that we haven't gone to that movie yet. Number two is Empire Strikes Back. Number four so far is A New Hope. Now Phantom Menace, dude, I'm gonna be honest. Out of the six, I probably had it at six before like actually watching this i'm kind of pressed to put it out like five and like that seems pretty low still but i can't dude i can't put it at three though i can't i can't do three yeah i mean honestly i guess it has to go at five by default okay i'm gonna go phantom menace honestly at five or six i i can't put it above the other movies yet just because Okay, as much as I enjoyed it now, I just, I don't see it being better than the other movies we haven't gotten to yet. The other, the three left. I'm gonna also do Rogue One and the sequels, but just for this one through six ranking, I'm not counting those. We're gonna watch Attack of the Clones next. We'll see how I feel about that after, at the end of that movie, because I don't know, my feelings could change. I know where I wanna put Attack of the Clones right now. When we watch it, maybe I'll feel different about it after. Maybe I'll keep it where I think it should be, or I'll have to move it up or down, who knows? But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. Comment down below what you thought about this movie, down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.